up you guys welcome back to my channel I have something extra exciting in store for you today I'm going to be giving you a makeup routine the perfect California glow that sun-kissed beach look only using Chanel products so before we get started because I can already see the comments in my brain saying no! Chanel is not that expensive in comparison to your other makeup products that you can find at makeup retailers such as Sephora and Ulta. Sephora carries Hourglass, Marc Jacobs, Givenchy, Tom Ford. They carry all of those products. So, in comparison, Chanel does match the price range of those products. I also want to remind you, Splurge on yourself a little bit. Spend the money. If you walk into a store and you have one foundation that's $60 and one foundation that's $40, but the $60 one is the most perfect finish, glowing goddess makes you look like you just got kissed by Jesus, and your $40 foundation is like nice and matches your skin tone kind of like it's a little bit light but you convince yourself that you can use enough bronzer to make it your actual color when it's summertime and also like it's a smidgen cakey but like if you only use a little bit it might blend out enough that it's not going to look like that you're going to end up going right back to Ulta or Sephora and buying a different $40 foundation just because you didn't want to spend the extra $20 on the one that actually made you feel like a queen and you should feel like a queen so spend the 60 just do it right the first time, because then, what, if you buy two of the bad ones, you're going to spend $80 anyway. Math. So, you can do it. You can't take to the grave. You might as well have incredible skin and flawless makeup while you're here. That is my only speech for the day. You probably don't want to hear anything more from me. You want to see what's sitting on my table, and it is honestly... I have never felt closer to the Kardashians in my entire life. Now, that being said, they probably don't use Chanel. They probably are out there with one air. But anywho, we are going to dive into this makeup routine with the most important step, which is your base. I will be moisturizing my skin with the Hydra Beauty Camellia Water Cream. It is a illuminating cream. I actually found this product from my older sister. She had it at her house, and I used half of the bottle probably on my own face. So... We're just going to be blending this out over our skin. You're going to notice it makes my skin nice and glowy. What you're going to notice today is a lot of the products that I'm using are liquid. And the reason for that is I think to get the luminous, glowing, California beach girl look is to have something that blends with your skin seamlessly. And I find that more prominent in the liquid products. Now, I will still be using bronzer that's a powder, a couple highlights, some eyeshadow, stuff like that. And... It's just going to blend so nicely if you make a really nice base out of your liquid products. This is the Chanel CC Cream in 20 Beige. This has sunscreen in it. They really don't have many color options for this CC Cream, but somehow, even with my undertones, it blends so beautifully. And I really struggle to find products that blend nicely with my undertones. I don't even know what my undertones are because I feel like they change with every makeup that I put on. So... Something that's so important when you're aiming to achieve a light, natural, fresh, finished look is less makeup. And I know initially you might think, oh, but I want to cover up redness or dark circles. But I'll be honest with you, if you pick products very specifically to accentuate your favorite features on your face, you're going to end up outshining any of those things that you're embarrassed about or anything that you want to change. And you're going to bring to light the things that you really love about yourself. And your confidence shows more than your makeup does. So... Next on the list is a little bit of concealer. I use this palette essential. It actually comes with three different products. So if you're looking for your Chanel starter product, this is where I started. It has the perfect concealer for my skin tone, a beautiful blush lip combo, and a highlighter. I will only be using the concealer in this and the only thing that I'm going to conceal is I'm going to be lighting up the middle of my forehead because this is where I tend to get a little bit more oily so I'm just going to be really lightly blending product over that spot a little bit on the tip of the nose and if I want to add a little bit to the inner corner of my eyes I will but don't put too much product here you can tell that everything I'm putting on I'm blending with my fingertips I haven't even tapped 
into my brushes yet. I genuinely think that there's something just so soft and wasteless about using your fingers. I don't lose product by using my hands, so I prefer to go with that little natural look. We all want the sunless tan, and I can tell you the secret to achieving it. It is... I swear Chanel is after me. Why did I pick the hardest named products? Soul. Soul. Cell. Soul. Nope, that's not it. Okay, this product. Okay, it looks something like this. I already took the top off of it. It's this little... It's almost like a little paint pot, okay? We're just going to tap into that with a little bit of like a stiffer brush. I have a two-sided brush right now from It Cosmetics. It's just a... It's a... Um, a brush. I don't know how to describe this kind of like a... It's, it says all over on the description of the brush. There's really nothing that they're giving me here. I'm just going to take this and really lightly blend that nice tan right on to my cheekbones and that little three in your face. I'm sure we've all seen this in a makeup video before. So as you can tell, my face has a little bit more color to it now and we're going to go right into the next product, which is a blush. This little tube of pink goodness, I don't think that they make it anymore. I actually heard a rumor that they don't make it anymore from a gal at the store and they're really hurting my feelings. We're just gonna put this right on the tops of my cheekbones. This just brings life back into the face. The secret is what all the gals have been doing recently. I've seen it all over the internet. It's this, you put it over your nose. The reason you do that is because it makes you look like you're sun-kissed instead of like you're wearing makeup and now that you have this tan and a little bit of pink on your nose, you're going to look like you've spent time on the beach in the sunshine soaking up the good weather so don't be afraid to blend a little bit of the excess on your forehead just like softly on the edges above your brow bone. This product, even from the bottle and the packaging, just looks like it's going to cure all my problems right here. Honestly, it is beautiful. I got the color Pearl. It's a little bit of the lighter shade. This I'm going to use very, very, very lightly because it is extremely pigmented. It has a nice little glow with a light shimmer finish and we're just going to blend that right on those cheekbones. You can kind of see as I put it on. Yeah, this is where I would normally stop with my makeup. I deserve an award for picking colors online. This packaging, first off, is the cutest thing. So it comes out of there and has a little brush that comes with it. A little like protectant shield. And this is the color that I picked. Tell me that I couldn't have picked a better color. I couldn't have picked a better color. That is the perfect bronze color for my skin tone. It's gonna pop my cheekbones out of my skin. Sorry for this awkward hold. I'm just going to try to sculpt a little bit of cheekbone out. Oh my gosh. Stop. Somebody call the queen. Okay. This is unreal. Look at that. That's like two seconds. It might look really creepy from up there, but from here it looks lovely. I'm going to use their brush on this side of my face and one of my own brushes on my other side so you can see a comparison of product. I don't know what I'm going to go in with for my brushes. Oh wow. This did a very, very beautiful job. Oh my goodness. Since I already have this bronzer out, I'm just going to go in with a smaller brush, grab some product, and put it in the outer corner and crease of my eyelid. It just really brings the look all together to use the same color as your bronzer. I'm going to be blending from my crease outward to the top of my cheekbone and then underneath my lower lash line. This is kind of how I keep that like glowy, just stepped off the beach look. It just really pulls the look together and puts it all in the same color scheme. I have owned my blush for a while from Chanel. It's called, Ro it's called Rose Akron. It's a little bit more of a mauve color in comparison to that peach that I showed you guys from the gel product. I just go in with the Chanel brush if you want to use a little bit um, thicker brush or something that has a little bit more give. You can totally use that. This one's actually pretty compact, so it does pile on quite a bit of pigment, but I kind of like how that looks. Sometimes I'll even apply the product with the brush that they gave me. And if you want to add a little bit more blending, I just go in with this um, Real Techniques brush and we'll just... 
I don't know what this highlighter is going to look like. I haven't opened the box yet. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this one because I picked a ivory gold color. Normally, gold highlights look brutal on my skin tone. They just somehow like look too dark. And I'm nervous to see if this is going to follow that trend of not being able to wear gold highlight. But I wear all gold jewelry, so I feel like gold highlight would look really pretty. Once again, it comes with a little brush sitting on the top here. You can just pop that right out. And oh, I don't know how this color is going to look. This is the color that it is. It is really, really beautiful. I'm going to swatch it real quick just to get an idea. <gasps> Stop. Oh my gosh, you guys, this might be my new favorite thing on the planet. This is the color that this looks like. I don't know if this is going to be the best highlight to use for a glowy, natural look, given the fact that I can already tell it is extremely, extremely pigmented and light. But we're going to try it out. We're going to put it on anyway. Um, we're just going to take that brush that they gave us, the one that comes with the product. We're going to blend it across and apply. Do you see this highlight? I hope that you can see this. I can see it in my mirror, so if you can't see it, I'm just gonna like sit here and do this until you can see it. We're gonna use our finger to do the little bit of application of the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose, just because that allows a smidgen more control and then a little bit to that upper lip. Wow. You take the highlighter, you take a finger and don't rub your finger, just press it on the product you're gonna pick up the glitter that sits just above the product, okay? Most products have it. Any highlighter that you have probably has a smidgen of that like excess loose glitter. Just take that and really lightly press that on the inner corner of your eyelid. This is gonna make it look glowy without highlighting the inner corner of your eye. Next up is some brow gel. This is also a small, small, small dilemma. I like the look of darker bushy brows and I don't draw my eyebrows, I only apply brow gel. So to me, it's okay if the brow gel is a little bit dark because the only thing it's going to do is make my eyebrows more visible, right? There's a little too much product on my brush. Okay, these, I mean, oh, holy, 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 holy. I feel like I look like that little Muppet that hides in the trash can. Do you know what I mean? The one that's in the trash can. That's what I feel like I look like. I need to look at these in a I'm, I just need a moment. They're not bad. They're not, they're not bad. I don't think that they look bad. I just took a clean spoolie and brushed through them to get rid of some of the excess that was like on my skin instead of on my eyebrows. We'll see how it looks with lashes. The most highly requested thing on my TikTok is to curl my eyelashes. I'm not sure why you guys don't believe me when I tell you that if I curl them, they fall back down. I don't know if anybody else has that lash problem. I've tried the Vaseline thing. I don't really want to get a lash lift because I don't believe in like strong chemicals on my face. And I don't know, I just, it's been four years since I've used one of these, but I went this weekend and invested and bought one because I wanted to try to make you guys proud that I at least tried it and didn't shoot it down right away. So today we're going to be curling the lashes before we put on some mascara. So my mascara that I picked out was the multi-dimensional volume length curl separation inimitable, inimitable, inimitable. In wow, that's a really interesting word. In inimitable mascara. I picked it on black. That's what I prefer to use on my eyelashes. I've used this before. It's really, really nice. It's very lengthening and volumizing at those roots. So we're just starting at the bottom, blending and pulling upward. <gasps> I hate this stuff. Also, as you can tell, these lashes fell down again too. It lasted about 10 seconds. Instead of actually combing through those bottom lashes, just lightly tap the wand up against those lashes and it will add a little bit of product without making them look too dark. Okay, now you're probably wondering why haven't I touched that little outer corner mess up that I made. Once it's dry, or at least almost dry, you can just take a dry Q-tip, rotate it outward as you pull up against it, and it will take 
that little dude right off. Look at that, he's gone. Then the only thing you have to do is just take any brush on your thing, on your table, and blend the product back over it. The final step to this makeup look is my lips. I bought a little Coco Rouge Balm. It's clear lipstick. I'm not joking. It's literally just clear lipstick. But I love a natural finish, so I bought two products. I bought a nice... Oh, wow, this is beautiful. I bought a really nice clear lipstick that I can just throw on. It adds a little bit of a glowy finish. The final, final product that I got is a lip gloss. I don't wear lip gloss often, but this nude color was too beautiful to deny, so I bought it. I had to. It was just so pretty. It was like the perfect mauve nude pink color. So, yeah, this is my new favorite. Now we let the hair down. And just like that, we are all finished. I absolutely loved how the look turned out in every single product on this table. I was a little bit nervous about this brow gel for a hot second there, but once I added the mascara, I actually brought down the intensity so much, and now they just look dark and defined, which is exactly what I was looking for. If you're looking for any of the products that I used in today's video, go ahead and check out the description box down below. For me, a normal makeup routine would end at the end of my liquid products, but I wanted to make sure I mixed in some powder for any of my friends who have different skin types than me. So if you're looking for something with a nice, fresh, natural finish, I would highly recommend checking out any of those products down below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment down below if you want to see more videos just like this one. I hope you guys have the best day and don't forget to indulge in yourself just a little bit. Bye, guys.